Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can send a clock signal out of logic to an external bit of hardware, such as a sequencer, a drum machine, or a synthesizer with timed elements. So you're going to have to make sure that the external bit of hardware that you're using actually can be clocked to another device using MIDI or MIDI via USB, and you're going to have to actually have it connected to your computer via MIDI as well. So here I've set up a drummer channel just for a timing reference and I've got a MIDI note going out to my DeepMind 12 which has a LFO which is supposed to be a fourth note. So you can hear there, not only is that not a fourth note but it's also not quite in sync. It's currently getting no clock information from Logic, so it can't synchronize itself with it. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is alt-click on the gray area around the top of Logic and go to Customize Control Bar and Display. So in this menu, you're going to want to make sure that Sync has a tick next to it. And if it does, it'll bring up this little icon here, this little clock icon. So there is a way to get to the menu that I'm about to show you through the preferences, but this is a quicker way to set this up. So you're going to want to alt click on sync and go to synchronization settings and then go to the menu here that says MIDI. So this is going to give you this list here. So from this list, you're going to want to pick the device you're sending the MIDI out to. If you're using just MIDI from your interface, you're going to want to choose that. If you're using it over USB, you're going to choose the actual device you're using. So here I'm going to pick 12D. And then I'm going to click clock next to it. Right, so if I do this now, so you notice that is now a fourth note, but it went slightly out of sync when the loop point came up. So to avoid that from happening, I find the better setting to use is pattern quantize clocks from this clock mode menu. So now if I try that, it doesn't go out of sync even when the loop point turns up. So that's very handy if you're working on a specific section of a track and you want to keep looping it and you don't want everything going out of time. Typically I do find when you send out a clock signal to some sort of sequencer, just using the settings that I've shown you here, it will work and it will start and stop when you start and stop logic. But there may be times where you have to actually fiddle with the settings to get it to work properly. So well, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. If it did, be great if you could subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. And I'll catch you in the next one.